can he still come? Yeah, like the stuff come out. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, did like did you just have that sensation? You're like, Ugh, and it, like whatever. And, but there's just nothing. Because shooting like, blanks. Like, is it like there's dust? Yeah. It's yeah. Just like, poof, like yeah. there's nothing. But it does. And they're like, no, no, stuff comes out. There's just no sperm in there. Yeah. That's their number one concern. Yeah. So they'll never come again. It's like, no, you're still gonna come. So I tell him that. He yeah. goes, good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah. Or it's also yeah. like a ego thing because it's like I I don't want to be shooting blanks. Yeah. I want to be a, yeah. a fertile man. That's right. Spreading my seed. That's right. I've so, ever heard a man say, "Did you hear about?" Phil shoots blanks now. Yeah, yeah, who the yeah. Fuck? Was- I was the first one to say I love you, and we were laying in bed, and it was from right before we were about we to go to how sleep. How long was that? This is like I don't know, five months in or something. Okay, right? mm. and I was like, I love you, and he was like. Thank you. Oh, like, God. Yeah. Who fucking Star Wars do you? I said, what the fuck did you oh, say I to know? me? I said, it's 11 o'clock. And I go, what the fuck did you just say to me? And he goes. Wait, I know it's way worse. <laughs> he goes, I said, thank you. And I go, oh, wow. I fucking heard you, dude. I was giving you a chance to dial it back. Like, what do you mean? And he goes, well, I mean, like, I think that's great. Like, th- he's like, I don't like I'm not there yet. I could see myself getting there. But would you rather like I lie and say I love you? Too? I said, fuck, yes, I would. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> Yeah, you lie. Pause and think of something else besides thank you. I don't know. Thank you? Is this a fucking business transaction? What do you mean? (laughs) Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Big Mood. Today is a very special day because we have a very special guest with us. This is Jay. Hi. Hi. (laughs) AKA Jokes by Jay. So I'm so excited to have her here, by the way. So I brought her. She's she's a friend of mine. So anyway, we'll get to know her in a second. But who else is here? Hi, it's me, Gina. Yeah, we do have friends outside of our group. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. It's me, Jess. I'm here. <gasps> you did Yay, it. Oh, it's me, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Jay, let's get to know you. So would you like to um, share with the room mm-hmm. how we met? I would love to. So I never made it as a stand-up comedy person, a stand-up comedian. I never, I never did well with it, which is very sad. So I have a full-time job, and <laughs> that full-time hey, you're job. You're not the only one in this no, room. No, exactly. That's <laughs> true. I'm like I chose having a family over being homeless in a van, driving from city to city <laughs> until I had an HBO special. Oh, how so boring here we are. of you! Yeah. How, boring, how terribly boring of you to choose a life. I, I still actually think about leaving them just for a weekend and see of how course. it goes. But, yeah, of we'll course. talk about that later. So I have a full-time job. I work at a dental office, a cosmetic dental office, and uh, actually. Tiff comes in with her husband and they are influencers actually yeah. for our office. They help us promote our office, which is funny. Yeah. And she had no idea that I even did comedy because it's a very separate thing. I don't talk about it when I'm when I'm there. And so she came in and recently, because we were both pregnant at the same time. Yeah. Oh. We were both pregnant. And I'm sure as you guys know, she didn't know she was having a boy or girl. Mm-hmm. I knew I was having a boy. And we talked at length for hours. Yeah, every time I go to my appointments, and Casey too, like we literally, we're done with our appointment and we stay for like another hour just talking to her. <laughs> just chatting like, about the pregnancy, nothing about like, comedy, nothing like that. Yeah. Just talking about, and um, yeah. And then so I went on maternity leave and it was funny. I had meant to like, me and Casey were like, let's stay in touch and I want to know if it's a boy or girl. And of course then, I had a nine pound, four ounce baby Oof. at home. <laughs> Jesus Christ. At home. That's Christ. amazing. Oh, so God. I was a little distracted. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And I forgot to text them. So no big deal. <laughs> so when I came back from maternity leave, she came in and we were chatting and I find out it's a boy. I found out the whole birth story, which was incredible. And I'm like, what's his name? And she's like, Luca. And I'm like, she's well, like, you're kidding. What do you mean? <laughs> That's my no, baby's no, name. No, yes. No. She was Same like, no, spelling. it's a joke, right? That's funny. And the thing is, is that. <laughs> like, how did you know my son's name to come up with this yeah, joke? Yeah, exactly. No, like, I, and, I, and I felt like she's not going to believe me. I would show her like something. You know what I mean? <laughs> to pull out the birth certificate. 100%. <laughs> so yeah. this is the, what's crazy is that Casey and I had a whole conversation yeah. about names and they didn't know about boys' names. And all he said was, we have a ton of girls' names. That was the length of the conversation. Like, we have all these girls' names picked out, but we don't know what we were going to do if it's a boy, right? Yeah. And I knew I was going to name my baby Luca for a long time, but I never said anything about it, you know? Mm-hmm. It was bananas. Yeah. So we're like, oh, Whoa. my God. Craziest coincidence. And and how old is Luca? You're Luca? So he's, oh, next week he'll be eight months. Okay, so, and mine is, my Luca is six and a half months. So they're very close in age, yeah. right? Like six weeks apart or something like that. Yeah. yeah. No, well, Luca was supposed to be seven months next week. <laughs> or Right. Yeah. Like, he he's a month older than he should be and <laughs> and mine came out five days late yeah with pretty much a backpack on ready for school <laughs> a briefcase and a mortgage so, like, right like i was like he had like a girl on his arm like hey i'm gonna be here and i'm like what the fuck 
<laughs> so um so yeah it was just crazy yeah. and then we got chatting and then she you know we're talking about being moms she's like oh i'll follow you on instagram and i gave her my personal instagram page and then barrett who works in my office who mm-hmm. coordinates all these you know these guys coming in these you famous influencers <laughs> coming in um was like oh give her your comedy page she's like what comedy like what are you talking about and then i gave it to her and i was like yeah it's jokes by jay and she, she's like, oh my God. And you know, why don't you come be a guest yeah. on my podcast? I'm like, shut up. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> like an opportunity to just talk for hours. Yes. yes. Please do it. We will so, sit here and shut yeah. up. No, oh, she's been three so years. fun. Mm-hmm. Like she's so fun to talk to. Like I'm telling you, we literally spend like hours after our appointment. Yeah. And then like our car is in the valet. Everyone's like, are you going to come pick up your car? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no, I just, I'm going to spend They're like, hours Wait, Can here. we get an extra cleaning this year? We just kind of want to <laughs> yeah. hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or do you want to come over me? You know what's yeah. funny? <laughs> uh, on my last appointment, I went home and I realized, oh shit, I didn't make my next appointment because oh. I was just talking oh to her the God, whole that's awful. time. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I checked out of the whole like this is my job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but and that's I was like just how like, good of a time yeah. Janine is. The valet like, probably oh, thinks your teeth is fucked up. Like every time this bitch comes in, she's sitting there for six hours. <laughs> Why is she hours? here every three, <laughs> yeah. every three months? Yeah. God damn, <laughs> for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> it was really, anyway, it's been too great. Much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So and then so how I started my thing is like years ago I always had this I've always had this passion to like create laughter in the masses mm-hmm. you know like I feel like no matter what you have going on in life you know if you you lost someone if you're whatever's going on for you you when you are like belly laughing like mm-hmm. so hard that your eyes are tearing and you can't fucking breathe like that kind of laugh mm-hmm. you're just like checked out of all that yeah. you know what I mean you're so disconnected from it that I always wanted to do stand up because I'm like, if I could create that in a large group of people, oh my God, that's fucking awesome, you know? Yeah. So my best friend actually was like, um, I signed us up for a stand up comedy class. And I was like, you're the worst person on the planet. Like, you're not. <laughs> when was that? Uh, that was, let's see, 2013. Mm. So, uh, and I was going to be getting married in the summer of that year. Oh, I was like, that's I don't. A lot. That's a lot. I was like, I can't yeah. do this, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm also like, you know, traditionally like you get married and the and the and the bride's parents are supposed to like pay for everything. That's not my situation. Yeah, not mine either. So <laughs> we were like credit cards, figure yeah, it yeah. out. I'm making <laughs> fucking flower balls in my living room. Like, yeah. I'm like I don't know, you know what I mean? And so that was what we were doing. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to do this. And she, she's like, well, we're going. And I'm like, I, I literally will. Not, I'm not talking. You're not. You're a horrible friend. I don't <laughs> yeah, know why I, I did this. She paid for it. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fucking sweet. go with her. Oh, yeah, because she paid for it, right? So I'm like, God damn it. So I go. And at the end of the first class, I look over her and I was like, you're the best friend. Aww. And I ever have. I love you so much for this. This is amazing. She knew. <laughs> yeah. And I was yeah, just scared. You, you know, it. I was yeah. scared. Right. So mm-hmm. like you're scared that you're not going to create the effect you want to create. You know yeah. what I mean? Like mm-hmm. you're like, what if I what if it's not funny? What if I think I'm funny? Right. You know, but any moment, like any memory I have that's like near and dear to me or like moments where I'm in a group of people and I'm making them laugh. I'm telling mm-hmm. a story or whatever. So we do this class. And at the end of the class, you're supposed to go perform like at an actual comedy club. Ooh, and, and you have a five minute set that you've created Oof. throughout the class, right? Mm. So I'm like, okay. So we do it. I get up on stage. I'm just like, I don't even remember it. Do you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. an out of body experience because yeah. you're like, this Adrenaline. is terrible. Yep. Yeah. And then I get off the stage and I was like, I want to do that again. Like it was just mm. like my addicting. Yes. <laughs> and I already have a very good <laughs> like, People were laughing. Like, do you remember seeing the reactions so, at least? No. What I did was. <laughs> But it's okay <laughs> because um, I had voice recorded like the, on the iPhone, you know, okay. like the voice record. Yeah. And so I was able to listen later for like what jokes yeah. hit yeah. and what did well. That's and then I worked that out. And so I was like, okay, I'm fine. Good. I did good, you know. And then I started doing that. I was at the comedy store and I was at the improv and I was like at oh, all fun. these different places and it was so fun. And most of my set was revolving around how I was about to get married, Mm -hmm. you know, and then I got married. And so I changed that joke a little bit. And then my husband wanted to have kids. And I was like, oh, my God, I just lost all this weight. I looked great, (laughs) you know. Um, And then he wanted to have kids. And I was like, oh, God, damn, all right, fine. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Or fine. So then I, you know, I got pregnant and I was like, I'm not going to do stand up. Like, who wants to hear? I was like a house. And then in hindsight, it would have been so funny. And I fucked that up. Yeah, totally. So I I had my. Yeah, didn't like Ellie Wong do a whole. Yeah, yeah, I'm completely pregnant. Yes. I saw it. Yeah. And I was like, God (laughs) damn it. So anyway, I I have my daughter. And then now I'm like, okay, so I'm a mother of two because my, I have a, I have a six year old and I have a six month old. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, there's so much material yeah. Yeah. in all of it, in like having home birth, like having two kids, like yeah. all of that stuff. And it's like, you know, I need to rewrite my set because my whole yeah. set was about getting married and yeah. having kids mm-hmm. and all of this. Right. So I've started to like get back into that. But during COVID, my same best friend who signed me up for my um, class, you know, mm-hmm. I she was like, 
you know, you should do your stand up bits on TikTok. And yeah. Like, what the fuck is TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm also probably the oldest person in this room, by the How way. How old so are you? Let's see. I just turned 39. Okay, I'm 35, so yeah, yeah you got me. look at you, yeah. 35. <laughs> I can tell your skin is still nice and tight. It's really great. It's Botox, honey. I, I, I have to wait till I'm done breastfeeding, yeah, yeah, and I yeah. plan on just my whole, I want yeah, my yeah, face yeah. frozen in time. Yeah, so yeah. this is me laughing. Yeah. 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 Right? And this is me crying. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I was kind of going so, for. So yeah, emotionless, yeah. just frozen in time. So I was like, okay, so I figure out TikTok. I'm like, what is this? So I start doing that, right? And then within like, you know, a very short period of time, I, I don't know, I got like 60,000 followers. And I was so excited Woo! about that, right? And I'm like, that's TikTok. A congratulations. Like, yes. Thank you. And then I did this dumb fucking thing at my office. So I have a coworker who speaks Spanish, right? Yeah. Katia, you know Katia. Yeah. Right? And so she, somebody calls and they're like, bruh, habla espanol. I'm like, hang on a sec. Uno momento, por favor. And, I have put the whole, and I'm like, Katia, this one's for you. Yeah. So she picks up the phone and they had the wrong office. And however you say that, you probably know, right? Yeah. How do you say that? Uh, How do you say? How do you say you have the wrong number? Tienes el número incorrecto. Yeah, okay. Something like so that. she said something that sounded like avocado. And so <laughs> so I was like, I said that and they all laughed and Barrett goes, you should you should do a TikTok about that. I'm like, all right, fuck it. So we do. We reenact what happened and we do a TikTok and the next day it has like over a million views. I'm like, oh, what? Shit. And there's all these people like, can you say this and blah, blah? Can you say this and blah? And Arabic and German and blah, yeah. blah, blah. So I start doing that and those 60,000 followers are now at like, Almost 500k, all Holy just from the language shit. thing. Yeah, and wow. she doesn't do shit with me anymore. She <laughs> want, I'm like, she's like, I just don't like the attention. I was like, mm. she's like, do you know what I mean? I'm like, not at all, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I don't, I don't understand that. I love attention, but I, I okay. Like, That's so funny. I started using Google Translate. Yeah, and then I can do any language anywhere. Yeah, you know, which is nice. And it's taken off to this thing that I was like, this is the dumbest joke I've ever told. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, you know what you I mean? You never know what's going to happen. You have no yeah. idea, you know? Yeah. And so. You should definitely check out her TikToks. It's jokes by Jay. It's so funny. Oh, like God. she just goes through all these kinds of languages. <laughs> I feel oh, like I Casey that. should kind of like insert a yeah. couple yeah. little clips yeah. or something. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. They're, now. They're, Thank uh, you, yeah, please Can insert. I just find it so we can all watch it right now? Because <laughs> <laughs> I want, I, I need, I need, I need reference. You need, she needs to see it. To see, to see. Okay, we'll keep talking. You look it up. Yeah. And then I did like I love talking, obviously. I mean, yeah. I don't think anyone else is. To, this is okay. That I'm no, yeah, no, okay. yeah. We're, we're, that's girl. why you're here. Yeah, <laughs> go. Yeah. So you can just keep keep running. Okay, great. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah. So, okay, first of all, you look stunning. Oh, thank you. That was because I was lighter. Um, there's a really great filter on TikTok, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you about it later. So. So yeah, so then I did Twitch for a while because I have this just chatting thing and I could just sit there and just talk, just like one way mm -hmm. flow of communication. I don't have to like answer yeah. anybody's question. Yeah. It was wonderful. And people would type stuff and I was like, okay, yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> but it was just like wonderful for me because I started off doing TikTok lives. Nice. And those were TikTok you know, live. What, I didn't know they even had that. I'm yeah. not even, I'm not on TikTok, so I don't know much about it. I got yeah. banned on there for fucking no reason at all. You I did too, but it was temporary. Yeah, yeah they're like, Wait, like of all TikTok or TikTok uh, live. Live. live? Somebody told oh. me what I was doing was like racist or something? and i was like hang on a second no 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 first of all knock it off okay yeah. <laughs> secondly <laughs> no don't like don't even go there with me with this yeah, kind of shit because yeah. i'm literally like people are asking me to do this mm -hmm. and yeah. i'm trying to make people laugh yeah. yeah and i'm intentionally they're like are you even going to try and the whole shtick is that i intentionally fuck it up but i yeah. have so much confidence that i nailed it yeah, yeah. that that's what makes it funny yeah. you know what i mean yeah. and they're like because people are like oh it's the confidence like for me yeah. like she's yeah. like i got this and i totally yeah. slaughter it you know yeah. people, not everyone understands humor no so, right. everyone has a different sense of humor i get yeah. it like i don't have but you don't have to you don't have to report they reported me for being and I was like, "Bam!" Oh my like, gosh, <laughs> is it this crazy? One? And I, teaching a white person Spanish yep. <laughs> is that the one? The, I think the that's one the one. Okay. What do I say to a Spanish speaker when they call the office and they have the wrong number? How do I say it? Say it again. I see where the okay. avocado came from, right? Hello. Oh, oh they're Spanish. Oh my god. <laughs> El numero el avocado. <laughs> okay. Adios. 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 Stop. Yeah. But then like, so yeah. then there's apparently there's this whole, um, because I have one that one of them is like, I it like hit almost 6 million views. It's oh so my dumb. God. Crazy. It was like this. And it's pinned on my, on my TikTok, like on the page. On You'll see it. I have like a leopard got something it. on. You got it. There you go. What? This is so stupid. And a whole bunch of. Hi. Yeah, I can. Oh no, that's French. That's a French one. 5.6, 4.6, uh, let me see. Yes. No. Which, which language? Leopard. Let me say. Or give her the phone letter. Oh, it might not be pinned. 
Sorry, guys, please hold. Why would you come into my house? We're going to pause like for this? a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> I totally lied to you. It's not. It's not. It's not, not, house. <laughs> it's not been this house. early in the morning. You know what, Jay? It was nice having you. And uh, <laughs> it's it's that middle one right there. Okay. Mm, this one. Yes, I love Korean. How do I say? How, crazy how was your day in Korean? <laughs> Let's go full crazy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Again. <laughs> Who doesn't like this song? <laughs> This is what I, that's what they said. I don't know. That's what I heard. I love this so much. <laughs> yeah, I can. How do I say I hate bullies in French? Je déteste les intimidateurs. Okay, again. It's Je beautiful. déteste it's les intimidateurs. Je déteste in lasagna and my detour. Yes. Right? 100%. 100%. I would hire you to be my teammate. 100%. I love it. I love that. So, um, yeah, I, so that's going well. <laughs> Awesome. I love it because you found a, the thing about TikTok, it's so, you have to find a niche. hundred yeah. percent. And you have you like an evergreen niche. Yeah. And you yeah. just keep doing that and it works and it's fucking awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's fun. And it's again something I can do in a short period of time because there were like these lip syncing ones and stuff that I would do that a 30 second video would take me an hour. Oh, oh wow. And I'm like, I don't I don't have the, no. the time for this. Like yeah. I'm neglecting You're my kid now. Yeah. That, no. Right? no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, what? What am I doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how hard do I want to create this laugh? This is right. ridiculous, yeah. you know? <laughs> So it's like a little bit desperate at this point. So I had to I had to kind of reel it in and be like, this is something I can do in a very short period of time and still work. And I have like two jobs. So I work at the dental office and I'm like a bookkeeper for another comp for my husband's production company. And like there's a, it's a lot. And then I have these two kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That, you know, just all the things you said. I don't know if you have this problem, but like mm. all the things that you say you'd never do. Like before mm-hmm. I had kids, I'm like, I will never leave my kids with a nanny. Meth. Mm. Like, I, yeah. <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs> While breastfeeding, I'm kidding. That's right. <laughs> I've seen that happen. I would never do. That. Yeah, I don't breastfeed. No, I'm kidding. So, uh, so I'm joking. So, um, so, so no, but I like. Oh, there's all these things. You're like, I'm like, I would never leave my kid with a nanny. I'm gonna stay at home. You know, I'm never gonna give them a phone. All these arbitrary oh, like, bullshit. Don't and you're like, watch TV, no sugar. Yeah, I'm cook dinner my every daughter's night. watching oh. TV right now at six because yeah, yeah. no one's there, so yeah. I could be here to do yeah. it. You know what yeah. I mean, so I'm like, she's home alone. Yeah. She'll figure it out. You yeah. know, the TV's on. She's also like in a train. Like you can't. Yeah, she's I'm like, not gonna live. do anything. And she's like, yeah, yeah. It's mouth wide open. All right, ladies. Christmas is just around the corner and you know your man needs a skincare routine because everyone needs a skincare routine. And also, gentlemen, if you're listening, you know I'm talking to you too. And that's where Geology comes in. Geology is a nine-time award-winning men's skincare company recognized in Men's Health, Esquire, and Ask Men Grooming Awards. There are over 5,000 five-star reviews. Geology creates a simple and effective skincare routine customized just for you with ingredients that are proven to work and formulated for daily use. The product set is great for both individuals new to skincare and seasoned skincare experts. Geology skincare is built around just a handful of powerful proven ingredients that have been trusted by dermatologists for decades. Geology is one of the only men's skincare companies to have retinol as an active ingredient in their products. Geology skincare helps you fight acne, reduce oiliness, prevent wrinkles and combat dark and puffy under eyes which by the way 50% of guys suffer from under eye issues like dark under eye circles puffiness tired eyes fine lines and wrinkles take for example my own wonderful husband Casey now that he's been getting older he has been noticing some wrinkles around his eyes some crow's feet so when I heard that geology was sponsoring our podcast I was so excited to have him try their award-winning eye cream So we haven't received it just yet, but Casey's definitely looking forward to it. And so am I because I've heard so many good things about geology. So I'm really excited for him to try it out and see a difference in his own skin, which I'm very confident he will be. So it's pretty cool because geology has a 30 day trial of all four products because obviously their skincare works best as a set. So what you get with the 30 day trial is two everyday face wash, one for your sink and one for your shower or to take with you to the gym. 
also get Vital Morning Face Cream, Repairing Night Cream, and that Nourishing Eye Cream that I'm talking about. Geology also has exceptional customer service and skin consultation. They guarantee that you will love Geology and help you at every step of the way to achieve your goals. People will notice the results and you'll love the easy routine and you will definitely look younger and feel fresh every single day. So what you do is you click the link in the description or you go to geology.com slash big mood and you take a 30 seconds diagnostic quiz and with a few clicks you tell them about your skin and goals and their team of dermatologists will design a regimen just for you that is shipped directly to your door it's that simple so head to geology.com bigmood and take their free skincare quiz to save up to 70 percent off on your 30 days trial even better, join their new Geology Galaxy community for more daily tips, giveaways, and more at discord.gg slash geology, that's spelled G-E-O-L-O-G-I-E. -O -O -E. Thanks to Geology for sponsoring today's video. So here we are. That's amazing. How does yeah. your husband feel about the uh, TikTok fame? You know, my husband and I are very different people. Like, I like everything done yesterday, <laughs> and he... Like, I'll ask him to do something. I'm like, babe, can you hang that picture? And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm sorry. I, okay. Can you <laughs> really hang the it. picture on the wall? And he goes, you want me to do that now? I go, I don't understand the question. And he goes, do you want me to do that right now? And I'm like, okay, well, if I wanted you to do it like tomorrow, I probably would have waited and asked you tomorrow. <laughs> but in the time we've been fucking talking about this, minimally a nail would have been in the wall. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I already can't. know Casey's editing this. Like, oh my God, yes. Like, it's it's, so it's brutal. Like, I'm like, what are you doing? How do you operate in life like this? Yeah. Like, you're never going to get anything. So he's very, he's also was born in Hollywood. I was born in New Jersey. So okay. he's like very laid back oh my husband's never done a drug in his life and i keep telling him please oh. do not walk past anyone who's smoking pot because if you get a contact <laughs> you're gonna be a vegetable yeah i'm 100 percent certain of this a, i grew wow. up very differently i had a i have a whole drug history in my yeah. past that i've now have nothing going on yeah which i've just really cleaned myself up <laughs> um but my husband is like you'd think he was a fucking like a just massive like he has a problem like you're like dude <laughs> I need you to be sober here, okay? <laughs> and he is. He is. That's, <laughs> That's how lead back. So in. the TikTok thing, he was like, I think this is fucking great. You never stop talking. <laughs> and you finally found an outlet for that. Nice. And I was like, great. So he'd come in and I'd do like a TikTok live and I'd be on there for like two hours. <laughs> or like I'd do Twitch for like three hours. And he comes in at the end and he's like, I don't understand like how you can talk for this long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, doesn't your throat hurt? I'm like, no, I'm good, I'm good man. I could have gone for another hour. She's getting late and I gotta go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> So, so he supports you. Though, he supports me. He's watching the babies. He supports me. And sometimes I make him laugh, you know, from time to time. I think it gets old after a while. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, do you still think I'm fine? But I, I make him laugh all the time. I'm trying to convince him to get a vasectomy. He doesn't think that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you're done. So you're done. Yeah, no more kids. kids. Oh, my God. Yes. First of all, I love my kids. <laughs> but my husband. OK, can we just talk about anything here? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally everything. Go for it, girl. So we talk about buttholes. We talk about anything. Oh, like, great. Just well, let me tell you. Yeah. 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 OK, yeah, so no filter. <laughs> yeah. So first thing is my husband was like, I want three kids. And he and he and I'm like, cool. I didn't I didn't want any. So I'll, I'll we'll do two. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Compromise. Like, we'll compromise it too. Like she's like me. Yeah. Right? I'm like, I, I don't want any. I didn't yeah. even want to get married. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know how the fuck we got here. I didn't want to get married. I didn't. I wanted a career girl. Huh? I didn't want I mean, yeah, yeah he's he's all right. Okay. So I'm <laughs> not one. He's great. No, like we are like best friends. Yeah. Um, but I was like, oh, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll agree to two. Okay. You have these conversations early on, That's so you know you're getting yourself yeah. a huge compromise. Zero to two. Zero yeah. to two? Yeah. Am I going to yeah. do all of it? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so as I'm pregnant with Luca, which is fucking so what, eight months weird. ago. so weird. Yeah. 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 I was like, wait, my Luca? Yeah, right? <laughs> as her surrogate. No, I'm kidding. So <laughs> Surprise. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, plot twist. No, so so. I go, he's like, you know, I, I want to have a third kid. And I go, OK, so your timing on this is awful. Because like hormones and stuff, this is yeah, not the time true. talking about this. Like, I right haven't after. seen my vagina yeah. in like six months. Yeah. I haven't slept through the night since I found out I was pregnant yeah. and I'm up peeing every seven yes. seconds. Yes. Yeah. And Girl, then just preach. Oh my God. I'm still there. And then you're peeing and just a little trickle comes out and you're like, I just, hmm, I still got to go. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And it's just like this dumb trickle. Yeah. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. So he goes, he goes, I want to have through. And I was like, okay, that, I'm not, that's not happening. Mm hmm. 
And now I've maybe we should talk about it after. <laughs> nope, not, it's still not gonna happen. So then he brings this up again. I'm like, first of all, stop treating this baby like a middle child when he hasn't even arrived yet. I don't know what you're doing and why we're talking about this right now. We had this conversation years yeah. ago. We had an agreement. Yeah, That's so funny. this is me fulfilling my agreement. Yeah, we're not, yeah. We're not doing that, dude. This is not some you shit. Can't change the agreement. Mm-hmm. Also, I just turned 39. What yeah. the fuck are you talking yeah. about? That's a lot. You know That's what I mean? Like my window is gonna close. I don't want to have. Whatever. Anyway, risks. He's trying to. He's trying shit. to slide one in before the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. exactly. Yeah. And so, I, so then I said, and then I go. So I'm talking to a friend of mine, and she goes, "Listen, she's like, um, my husband had a vasectomy." I was like, "What? What do you mean?" So she's like, "Yeah, he was like totally against it, mm-hmm. and then he got he went to the consultation, he got more information, and he did it, and it's like the he he loves talking to guys about it because it was like the best things that he's ever done because it's like sex with no consequence now." Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, this is my husband's best life. You know what I mean? Like he yeah. lot, this is his dream. So I'm like, babe, can you just, he's like, no, I'm like, first of all, don't shut me down. Hear me out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a pitch. Listen to the pitch. Yeah. Then you can decide. Yeah, yeah. So I tell him, I'm like, first of all, my first question to my friend was like, I have a really stupid question. And I didn't know this. I'm sure you guys do, but I didn't know. I'm going to guess. What? Because he's still come. Can he still come? Yeah, like the stuff come out. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, did like, you just have the sensation? You're like, Ugh, and it, like whatever. And, but there's just nothing. Because you're like, blanks. Like, is it like, there's dust. Yeah. 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 Like, like yeah. there's nothing. But it does. And they're like, no, no, stuff comes out. There's just no sperm in yeah. there. Is like, it clear? I don't That's know. My I, just, I don't know if the so. sperm make yeah. up the cloudiness. I'm, I'm not sure about the ratio of what, yeah. how that works. But I do know that liquid comes out. Yeah. The penis I knew still. that part, but I don't know what it looks like. That's the part I'm know. curious I'll, about. I'll send a picture. A lot of people just, <laughs> a lot of people, a you lot can of people send it to me because I actually am curious. Like a lot of people assume it's like, I'll just never be able to come again. It's like, no, dude. Like that's their number one concern. Yeah. So they'll never come again. It's like, no, you're still going to come. So I tell him that. He yeah. goes, good to know. I didn't know that. I'm or sorry, it's I also like an ego thing because it's like, I, I don't want to be shooting blanks. Yeah. I want to be a, yeah. a fertile man that's spreading right. my seed. That's right. I've so, ever heard a man say, did you hear about Phil? Shoots blanks now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was nobody the gives a 90s. shit. Yeah. So well, in the TV well, shows, I remember seeing shit yeah. like that. The girl that I, the girl whose husband did it, told me she's like, there is like a week of like where they feel like they kind of lost their manhood yeah. because there is this this like procreation yeah. entity of your um, ego, which I get, fine, yeah. right? But she's like, then after that, because that's like the, the for one week you can't have sex, I yeah. guess, right? And then there's like a day where you have, or like, no, there's one week where you have to have sex as much as you possibly oh, can to like empty you yourself out. Yeah, yeah, you just gotta like oh, go. Oh, crazy! Not. And I'm like, this is. This sounds wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. The process for and men is By great. the way, anything I have to do to Terrible. become is very invasive. Yeah. yeah. Like, what am I getting? My two side yeah. heart, like huge surgery. What are you yes. talking about? And I have heard hormones, nightmares about all this other shit. I've taken yes. the pill for over 10 years, like back in my mm-hmm. 20s. I can't do that anymore because yeah. you're not like after 10 years, you're not supposed to be on yeah. it. So I'm like, cool. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So I'm like, Dude, this is like an easy solution. And by the way, for you, because you're the one that hates wearing condoms. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm giving you a solution. It's 15 minute procedure. It's $1,500. Yeah. I don't even understand. We could do it twice. Yeah. yeah. And then he goes, I just, <laughs> I could do he it goes, because like, we're just rolling. In the, I have $3,000. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. could whip out for you to whip it out. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So he goes, he goes, no, I, I mean, I don't know. I go, okay, tell me the reason why. What's the, what's mm-hmm. the, the, the thing that's holding you? Like, what is your consideration about this? He goes, you know, I just, I want to know that I'm definitely done having kids. I go, oh, easy conversation. Let me fully disabuse you of that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you want to have a third kid, full, and this is 100% honesty, you go out and you find a woman to impregnate. It's totally fine with me. I will invite that bastard baby into our home <laughs> for holidays. I will treat them like they're my own, but it's not coming from this body. I yeah. fucking guarantee you. Would okay? you be willing to ha- like go in on a surrogate? No, and here's why. I'm gonna tell you. So let me tell you the other part of it. So I said, then he goes, "What if we adopt a baby?" I go, "Okay, okay." No, here's why. I was like, first of all, like right now. So with my daughter, my husband was up with me a lot, helping out and stuff like that. But right now, he's working and he's got stuff going on. He hasn't gotten up at all. Mm. For so there were nights like I slept for 20 minutes mm-hmm. and that was it. And I, you forget, like I have a six year old. I'm sure you forgot because your your son is a lot older, right? Oh, yeah, he's 14. Yeah. <laughs> so like you forget, like these, they teethe. They, they, there's yeah. this, there's that. They don't sleep for the first, you know, and it's like, and it's amazing and it's temporary and they're wonderful. But it's like, think about, first of all, I said, okay, where, where does the baby sleep? Let's, I said, let's play out the scenario of having a third kid. Mm-hmm. So if I have a third kid, I have to get pregnant like right now because mm-hmm. I'm 39. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now Luca's. My Luca <laughs> is, is, we'll just call him Luca 2.0. I no, he's fine. No, Luca. It's, it's okay. So, um, <laughs> Luca also. So, so, Luca also <laughs> is a year and a half, and there's an infant. Now I have two under two. Oh, yeah. Cool. Also, and here's the thing, dude. If I was like a stay at home mom and that was our, that yeah. was our, yeah. then maybe I'd go, that's okay, yeah. you know, but I'm not. I work 11 hours a day. I'm out of my house. Yeah. yeah that's so, crazy. already I feel like I'm neglecting my daughter to some degree because there's an infant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, at what point, 
I'm like, I couldn't be a good mom to all three of those kids and right. feel good about myself mm-hmm. at the end of my day. Like, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Even if it was, it's it's not just the idea of, yeah, how it wrecks my body and it takes me a full year to bounce back and lose. Yeah, like, I have 50 pounds thing. to lose right now. I have to lose a fucking first grader. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know how well that first grader is eating because my daughter's heavier, but it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, that's not my point. My point is like I have a whole being to lose. Like, and you're asking me to do this again now. So I would be like a house. People would be like, I don't know no, if she's pregnant kidding. or not. Or if she's yeah, just really yeah, happy. Yeah. Like, I'm be one of those girls. Like, can I, should we ask? No, yeah. don't ask. No, don't. It's not you clear. never ask. <laughs> it's not clear. I, I came back from my maternity leave and a patient, I was talking to a patient and she goes like, oh my God, when are you having your baby? And I said, he's out. I'm dead inside. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god she just straight up asked that know. you never ask anyone maybe that. she remembered that i don't give a shit unless there's a you're crowning and the head is out <laughs> yeah i am not gonna say exactly. how far away Wait, i have to tell yeah. you guys the funniest story what ever that my mom it? told me so my mom she's uh clearly not pregnant but she ended up <laughs> she's meeting like in her 50s right <laughs> yeah she's like 51 or something okay. so she was telling me the story about how she she met this lady with so she was with my grandma and they went to some store or something and this lady goes up to her and she goes oh my god can i kiss your stomach no, what yes. what so then my so pregnant she, or not this is an inappropriate yeah. exactly. what, what, for a stranger so then, to kiss your belly yes. that's like something maybe your close friends people get like, offended exactly. if you touch their belly exactly. yeah. that no your- yeah so then she ends up my mom's like yeah. what like okay she what? Goes, what? 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 okay wait, wait, wait. I, can't. I can't i'm done <laughs> so then my my grandma is cracking up she's laughing <laughs> so fucking hard and then my mom was like <laughs> she's laughing too and then after it, the lady's like oh a little she's princess, like saying a blah, blah, prayer blah. and shit like yeah just like all in spanish just being like oh cute Your little rosary. baby Your fucking hand. and then my mom goes so do you see how like flat my stomach is so she, in spanish she said like uh, panza guada es caca or something like that. Yeah. So she uh, goes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I heard caca. Yeah. <laughs> pensive caca. Yeah, 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 there you <laughs> go. Pensive caca. Pensive caca. Doesn't know if it won't come out. Um, <laughs> Anyway, the point is that she was like, you see how soft my stomach is? It's nothing but shit. If it was hard, it'd be a baby. So it's, it was better in Spanish, but she ends up like embarrassing. I actually kind of like it in English personally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. It's pretty great. So then the lady was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. And she then she walked away. Wait, shit. wait, did she let her kiss her stomach in that? Oh, and then your mom she, is your fucking, fucking awesome. Fucking That's cool. hilarious. Dude, yeah. your mom oh is. Oh my God. That cracked me. And then my grandma She's was retelling. Your mom's a bully. <laughs> that is so She's funny. like, yeah, kiss my my shit stomach yeah and then she's, oh like, my God. And she's like you just bust my burger king bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how does it feel to kiss fucking waste <laughs> i can't yeah that's i know it's so my funny. ex-boyfriend never ex-boyfriend yeah. ever kissed there you go <laughs> that's but yeah that's what that reminded me of yeah it's just really don't ever, uh, don't, don't ever assume kids. Don't yeah. ever assume. Or even if you're assuming don't act upon it yeah no. exactly right? until you hear something i hope that lady learned her lesson like you don't right? want to be that's so absolutely too. humiliating yeah. on a level that I can't even comprehend. <laughs> you know what was great about the woman who asked me <laughs> when I was going to be like when I was mm. due was that she just got done telling me how she's been really like working on and and having these great like successes in like being a better listener. <laughs> oh my god! No, no, wait, take, let me t- take this journey with me. So she says this, and I go, yeah. And when I was on my maternity leave, oh my god. Da, 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 da. I finished my sentence. And then after I got done talking, she goes, oh, when are when are you having the baby? <laughs> yeah, Great I'm listener. so fucking big. Oh. I did my maternity leave already. <laughs> oh, my God. And when the baby comes, I'm just going to fucking have it at the desk. Oh. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like so well, sad. pre-maternity leave. So, so I was funny. like, this is horrid. You're not yeah. a good, li- you're not no. listening. Yeah. You're not listening to me. You're not improving. <laughs> also, here's your fucking treatment plan. It's a billion dollars. You're yeah. not giving me a fucking discount. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, add an extra $2,000. <laughs> so funny. Oh my, oh my God, God, dude. I know people are so rude. I remember you were telling <clears throat> me when we were both pregnant how people were like asking you, are you having twins? No, no, what the no. Fuck? Wait, you don't no. Know. Are you having twins? Are you having twins? No. Are you sure? <gasps> yeah, that part. Yeah, because they have technology now and there's one heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> and she just has a lot of room you know what i mean yeah. and it's like and then They're like well you ate for two with my yeah. daughter yeah with my daughter i was pregnant with my daughter when that happened and then this and and here's the crazy thing most people that would say shit like this were women who have kids oh my so god like, do you not what yeah like, they're probably these women that gain just 20 pounds yeah. when you're pregnant and then they like they're they're ba- i mean you're clearly one of those women but that's okay i still love you <laughs> yeah no i just i was gonna say it like um didn't you gain technically like one of those people yeah i gained 40 pounds or a little less than 40, but yeah, almost So you 40. had like 30 something to lose? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, but even still, like I would I never. 65 pounds. I would oh, never. Wow. 
I don't know what an average is. It's supposed to be 25 to 40. Okay. <laughs> She's within that range. So you have a little, you have a little extra pasta. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you're fine pasta. you're healthy get, your baby's healthy i'm you're real good. healthy <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so then so then this one woman came from downstairs she worked downstairs in another office and she comes up and there's like how our office is as you walk into the front desk and then there's a separate office which is where our doctor his office is and i was in there because i was going over stuff with him and she comes in and i heard the door and no one was out front so i like peeked my head out and i was like hey and she was like, oh, did you get so big? They they put you in there because there's no room for you Jesus. at the front desk. Can you believe she said that? So at this Can point, I'm done. I'm you fucking have done. You been so, I, yes. so this is my reaction. I go, really? Really, dude? That's yeah, what you're going to say seriously. to me? Wow. And she because I had it. I was like done yeah. with like making a joke. And she goes, oh, no, no, no. She's like, don't do not do that. She's like, don't, don't, don't do make that. Don't I said, no, 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 no. You did that. Yeah. yeah. I said, like, don't who say that to somebody? Take some accountability. You take responsibility for that. You just said that. You know what I mean? Jesus. She's like, I didn't mean anything about, okay, okay actually, just get Did fucked. Get I don't know why you're here. You can't borrow anything that I don't know what you need. Yeah, Jeez. go away. But we don't have it. We're closed for the rest oh of the day. Oh, my <laughs> God. We're closed forever. Oh, can you my God. God. Yeah, the crazy, crazy, dude. dude. So the just shit? for the record for anyone watching, I had my baby. <laughs> not There's no pregnant. life in here. Not I am not currently pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> So, insane so yeah so yeah people are wild that's i'm just trying have to get zero uh self-awareness like pregnant women get treated the worst sometimes like, you know what we, we get treated the best manners wise but it's almost like because people feel bad for you like they'll hold the door for you they'll let you sit so somewhere that you normally wouldn't sit. Pat- yeah, yeah. yeah oh, but, I but I, this time i was like i'm gonna you know what good thank can you for can you talk to me a little bit more about like not wanting to have kids and then deciding to go ahead and have yeah, them. Yeah, that's interesting. Like, that's Bro, we're, we're, s- right now. we're super anti-babies. We're like yeah. so... Yeah. Okay, I'm, Gina I'm says she is, but she's not. Put, no. There's never going to be a life in me. Yeah, ever, so was I. Never, ever, ever. I went to how great lengths okay? to ensure how did that you get there okay? wasn't. How did you get what okay with it? What was your great length? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, that's a story for... How did you get okay with it? I can't tell nowadays. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because so. literally right before you arrived, I was telling them, I'm like, I'm so down to be your surrogate. Like, yeah. I'll do it. Because I told her. Don't I, tell Clark that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have three lined up right now. Yeah. yeah dude. So, um, line. so, so when I met my husband, like, our, I have to kind of tell you that story. To yeah. Take you How old the were you guys when you met? Um, it was 2000. And, oh, my God. How old was I when we met? I was 25. Oh. Okay. So you've been together for a while. Yeah. Well, so like 15 years now. Yeah, 14, fourteen. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Um. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, when we met, this was not a love at first sight, head over heels mm. thing. So we were set up to go to lunch together by friends. Or? By by friend. Uh, actually, uh, somebody I worked for at the time. Oh, okay. They were like, "Oh, you should ask Janine out." And I was out that day, and and he called me, and I was like, "Okay, yeah, I'll go to lunch with this guy. Fine." So we met for lunch, and. I abruptly ended the date because I have this thing where I dread, which I don't have to worry about this now anymore, but like I would get such anxiety about having like the first kiss. So yeah. I would just blow oh. the scene. You're like, I guess I'm like, the, this, the first kiss is always going to suck because yeah. you're going to kiss differently and then you get the yeah. hang of it. Yeah. But depending on how quick you are at that, it's, it could be a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So we had lunch. It was great. And it was like a midday thing, obviously. We went for a walk in the town because it was a gorgeous little town. And he, and I was like, all right, I got to I got to go. Like, I just, and he was like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, call me. We should totally do this again. Like, I got in my car and I laughed. <laughs> so, Damn. so I found out later that he said to his friends, you know, it was okay. I mean, she was, she was boring, but I'd hit it. <gasps> oh, I think was the statement that he made. And I was like, let me say something. I'm a lot of fucking things. Not boring. I am not fucking boring. No. Okay. So I basically just married him to, I'm still to this day yeah, yeah. just trying to prove a point. Spite. So, yeah. Yeah. Spite. so yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, wait, but, how did you hear this? Because I feel somebody told me one of his fucking friends. friends told me later because yeah. I'm so easy to talk to, I'm not fucking boring. And they yeah. opened up to me. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, anyway, um, <laughs> I very early on proved my point. So, <laughs> So he he was like, no, you were weird. Like you were first impression. You know, you get like whatever on a first date. And I was like, okay, whatever, dude. So we went out again. And when we went out again, he had stood me up. He was like, oh, we were going to go to the movies. Oh, and he goes, I have to go oh. visit my grandfather up north. And I was like, I said, oh, this is already off to a great this fucking start. This is not start. going well. what I said to him. Yeah. And then I started becoming my sarcastic self, which I really wasn't the first date. And yeah. he was like laughing a lot. We were talking a lot. <laughs> so we got together three months after we started dating 
our both of our leases were going to be up, and we were thinking about moving in with another couple of, you know, like a like in a house. Yeah, yeah, like a whole and house. like get, no, no, no. moving after it was a three big, months. Yeah, and wow. I was like, this is kind of crazy. I would never do this if a friend told me they were going to yeah. do this. I'd be like, slow down, dude. Like, no. yeah. But for some reason, it just felt like the right thing to do. We weren't even saying I love you to each other yet, oh, which wow. is so weird. But we we're like, dude, this is gonna like this will be like five hundred dollars each. Like, this yeah, is amazing. it was know, too good of a deal. Nice. Nice. So we're like, we'll fucking the make it work. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. Each other we'll make it work. So <laughs> yeah. like, just five hundred dollars boring. You hit it. Let's do yeah. this. You know. So like, so we so That's we crazy. move in. Casey and I moved in after six months. You see, and That's everything's wild. Where, it's all working out, right? Yeah. So, so we move in together and. I remember I and I my thing was like I was like I don't really want to get married. I'm very like career driven. Yeah. I didn't I didn't really have hadn't really had the, you know, epiphany that I wanted to do comedy yet. But mm-hmm. like I I was like I love like working. I could mm-hmm. never just be a stay at home. I'm too productive of a person. I'll mm-hmm. lose my mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like so um and he wasn't like neither one of us were like this head over heels infatuated. So it was cool. It was like we were like both chill enough with each other that it was fine. So as the relationship progressed and you know we kept dating i remember like in the beginning i was the first one to say i love you and we were laying in bed and it was from right before we were, long, we were about to go to how sleep how long was that this is like i don't know five months in or something okay right? mm. and i was like i love you and he was like thank you I oh like, god oh. He fucking star wars do you i said what the fuck did you oh, say I to know? me <laughs> i said it's 11 o'clock and i go what the fuck did you just say to me and he goes wait i know it's way worse <laughs> he goes i said thank you and i go oh wow. i fucking heard you dude i was giving you a chance <laughs> to dial it back like what do you mean and he goes well, I mean, like, I think that's great. Like, th- he's like, I don't, like, I'm not there yet. I could see myself getting there, but would you rather, like, I lie and say I love you too? I said, fuck yes, I would. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, or you lie. lie. Pause and think of something else besides thank you. I don't know. Thank you? Is like, this a fucking business transaction? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Whatever. So that, we're not off to a good start. Okay, guys? That this is, is how so it's gone. Yeah, I feel, if I was I'm your boring. friend, I would have you. I would have been like, like, get no, the fuck out of there. Not yeah. hanging paintings. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, anyway. So. I don't know. I I would have appreciated that other than a lie. Yeah, I mean, I'm still lying not. is not good, but also just thank you. And like I don't know, you could. But been don't smoother. say thank you. Be like, you know what you should have said hmm. was if you wanted to be honest about. It, I would have appreciated the lie, but it's fine. <laughs> it, what, but if you want to go the other way, okay, yeah, yeah. let me assume that viewpoint. Okay. Mm-hmm. He could have gone. That's so sweet. You know what? I can totally see myself getting there too. That's that is better yeah. than thank not you. Not just thank you. The one thing I heard yeah. online was, uh, "That's really sweet." Um, I think we're on the same book just different chapters yeah i'll get there i'll catch yeah, up. yeah 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 i'm getting there yeah, that's yeah. Fine. i'm getting there you know I'm a fucking asshole so anyway <laughs> I'm, this is this is a great conversation because i'm like what am i doing right now yeah. no, I'm like, i think he deserves a kick in the balls so like, are we going oh, yeah. home and that's and how you will not get it through no, 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 no. no. so and he's so, gonna sit with me i'll convince you why your man ain't shit <laughs> so, so by the end is, by the way we're, we're doing this so that i could tell you about how i changed yeah, 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 having kids know, and getting married yeah. it's gonna you're end with us to, both on the you're same trying page to convince yeah. me that it's gonna be okay at the end i'm gonna look at you and be like i don't know what i'm doing yeah. <laughs> so she's convincing you to sterilize your husband yeah, yeah. <laughs> also i was like why are they not why are, instead of circumcising babies how about we just give them vasectomies and then they can reverse it when they get old enough to decide if they want to have a baby i'm just saying this is an idea Wait, people can think about dope. it yeah it's less painful yeah you True. know that's whatever dope. instead of anyway cir- yeah. circumcision yeah, yeah it's a pretty it's a pretty it gets a little too close to that, it? it gets a little too close to sterilization no, they, like they, hitler, they probably can't like hitler shit can't. yeah, yeah that'd be dope. Right. it's probably i'm probably trying to bring back some really yeah so <laughs> little bit, little bit maybe nobody cuts anything on yeah. babies <laughs> How about that? There you go. I would like to also, if anyone's just tuning in mid, can they do that? No. <laughs> I don't well, think if you fast forward it, because you were fucking boring. Because yeah. yeah. clearly you're very boring. And trying to get to clearly the end you're of related this. to my husband. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, okay, where am I? Okay, so I'm, I'm a thank you. So I thank you. Great. So yeah. fast forward to eventually he says, I love you. Great. Wonderful. And did you say thank you? And, yeah, I did. Okay. I 100% I did. Actually, you. would have been I'm fucking so, proud of me. So glad yeah. He's like, he's like, you know what? He, was like, he goes, I love you. And I went, really? And he went, yeah. And I go, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> there you go. It was a very sweet moment. Yeah. And I really Wait, it. It had, wonderful. had you said, I love you after the thank you before his, I love or you? Did you have to pause on that? No, I, I waited and I said, uh, and I went, really? Like I was about to say it. And then I switched it up and I was like, thank you. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, we, you know, we started talking about the future and he's like, you know, I definitely want to get married and have kids and stuff. And I was like, oh, it's great. You know, thank you. Uh, and so for sharing that. So, so, so he so I was like, I go, you know, what? I've, I haven't really ever seen myself get married, but I'm also like not I'm willing to change my mind about stuff. I'm not very yeah. like fix, fixated person. Like it has to be this way and da 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 because I just feel like there's an irrationality about that. So yeah. I'm like I'm willing to be like, OK, you know, if I met the right person that 
fell in love with me and didn't think I was boring. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I would change my mind. So um, we were together for about almost two years. And at that point, I was like, all right, I could see myself like he's we we don't like he's so laid back. Like he compliments me really well mm-hmm. because I'm at a 10. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm very dramatic. I'm very animated. Like I, I've hit this fucking thing. God knows how many times. What's your son? <laughs> so I don't Virgo. even believe in this shit, but Virgo. Oh, okay. I yeah. have no idea. I didn't yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't either, but I'm pretty spot on. It's unfortunate. Yeah. How, like I'm like, I'm not an astrology person. Yeah. And every time I read it, I'm like, God damn it. I get mad because <laughs> mine's like kind of works, too. But yes. I'm like, fuck this shit. But, <laughs> I'm yeah. like, this this is such bullshit. Yeah. This is exactly me. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, God damn it. So um, I'm like, now now I'm starting to go like, OK, like I could see. I don't know about kids. I really don't think I want to do that. Yeah. Right. And I had already had some fucked up stuff in that area. And I grew up. I had a weird childhood. Like, I, had a, I mean, I had a great family. My mom was amazing. But my mom and my dad got divorced when I was young. She remarried. They had a kid. I like resented that. Like yeah. I was like, I don't know about this. And he yeah. wants mm-hmm. a few kids like he wants three. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know. And then we started talking about getting married, which I was which I was like, OK, and now I wanted to do that. Now I got into that whole, like, I was like, okay, that, that would be great. Like, that'd be super cute and fun. Mm-hmm. I could, like, create this wedding. It'd be beautiful. I'm praying to God that when he says, when he said, I do, you're like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so um, he wasn't really, like, one to go over and above. Like, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, right? From these stories, you could say, like, mm-hmm. thank you. Like, great guy. Yeah. Super chill. I don't know a single person that is an enemy of my husband's. He's so easy to get along yeah. with. It's not even funny. Mm-hmm. Which was one of the things that made me, like, love him so much. Because I'm like, everyone I talk to, like, loves this guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or they'd be like, why didn't we think of t- hooking up with Clark? Yeah. You guys are perfect for each other, you know? <laughs> so, um, and he puts up with my shit. And I know I'm not easy to handle. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not the easiest person to be around all the time. And if you could find someone that could put up with your shit and not make you fucking feel like a piece of shit for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, is he here? <laughs> <laughs> we just showed up. shit, bitch. We have a surprise guest, Janine. <laughs> someone just rang the doorbell. I know. Just- okay, so then I started to change my mind about getting married. Yeah. Right? And I'm like, okay, fine. But I'm still not sold on the kids thing. Yeah. And so I kind of was like, he, okay, he wants to do this three kid thing. I, I, I'm okay with one is what I first said. Mm. But then I was also like, dude. Listen, if you want, you want to do all this, I could, th- I'll think about it. But honestly, like we need to, we're not even engaged. Like, what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> so what the fuck? And then he had this weird thing of like, well, if we get engaged, we have to be engaged for two years. I was like, two okay, years. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about right now, but you're like the weirdest person I've ever <laughs> met in my life. And he wants three kids. And when you do you want this to happen? That, that True. Yes. Wait, why two years? Because I understand one year because yeah. that was my thing yeah. with Casey. I was like, let's just be Things could one change. year married. One year. Yeah. 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 I I don't know. I mean, to this Someone day, I'm kind of like, yeah. Like Someone he, told me. It was one, weird, one of the yeah. this weird chat he had with somebody that was like some other influence thing. Yeah. I was like, what do you, what is the consideration on two? What? Like, yeah. okay. Yeah. So then um, he, he doesn't really go uh, like all out and do like crazy romantic things. Like he's very sweet, but he doesn't do like things that are like expensive and lavish and stuff. Yeah. So he goes, I'm going to surprise you and take you on a trip. So mm-hmm. I'm thinking he knows I've always wanted to go to Hawaii mm-hmm. and that's the only place he could take me that it would be okay not to ask me to marry him. Like, if that, like you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. yeah. If he takes me to like anywhere else, I don't give a fuck where it is. It could be Italy. He better be proposing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I really wanted to go to Hawaii for what, I don't know why. Just to go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in my, I'm 25. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to go lay on the goddamn beach. Right. right? Yeah. <laughs> so he, him and his, his cousin and, and his wife at the time, uh, take me to the airport and I haven't seen my boarding pass and they're like, just pack for the summer. It's the summer. I'm like, okay. And th- I didn't know where I was going. And we oh, go to the fun. airport. It was really fun. And the security guy takes my boarding pass. He goes, she doesn't know where she's going. And he's like, oh, have fun in Georgia. And I'm like, thanks for playing. You better be fucking joking. I was <laughs> yeah, like, Georgia? Yeah. Why the fuck would I remember Georgia? Georgia? Yeah. Okay. Obviously, he was, I was like, if, it, if we're going yeah. to Georgia, this is going to be, I'm trying to just work out like, okay, like, how do I move out? Like, I'm trying to, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm already, over this man. you know, and I'm like, oh, God, this is going to be rough. Like, so four months left on the lease. I think I yeah, can pay. Exactly. Like, I'm literally doing like my finances. Yeah, so, so funny. As we're going through the airport, and they couldn't have planned this. They they could they didn't plan this, but it was perfect because as we're going through LAX, every single gate, I'm I'm looking at the city, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, we're not going to Cincinnati, we're not going to New York, we're not going to Honolulu. I was like, that sucks. Okay, we're not going here, we're not going there, and I and it's the last terminal. Mm. And it, this is how dumb I am. <laughs> and it's the last terminal, and the destination says Kona, and I go, where the fuck is that? <laughs> And you the, wanted to go to Hawaii I so bad. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm a fucking tourist to Wahoo. I don't know what yeah, the fuck yeah, Kona yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could be in Thailand. I have no yeah. idea what's happening, right? So my the girl, the the wife of my of my cousin in law, holds up this book, which she 
I guess ordered on. I don't know how the fuck she just had this fucking book, right? <laughs> and it says Kona, the big island. And I was like, oh, and I, of course, dramatically, I fall to the floor. I'm so excited. Aww. I'm literally on, laying on the ground. It was disgusting, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> in the airport. Um, so excited. And I'm like, this is going to be wonderful. And they have a timeshare there. And it's this beautiful oh, nice. trip, right? And then we get there and we park the car and we're going to walk down this like weird path to the beach. And I was like, guys, I've seen this shit in horror movies. Like, we're going to die. I'm like, <laughs> actually, I'm going to be the only survivor because yeah. I know what's going on. Yeah. And like, as I'm saying, this we could prep. There's like some weird fucking dude playing a banjo. I'm like, we're so dead. This is so fucked up. <laughs> I've so seen this weird. shit a million yeah. times, right? Wait, a so, banjo, not a ukulele? I don't know. Maybe yeah, a ukulele. It was a ukulele. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that <laughs> is. It could have been a violin. I don't know. Wait, okay, so, so they were they were on Big Island. It could have been a banjo. <laughs> it could have been two lava rocks. I don't fucking know. Okay, all I know is he's a fu- he's fucking sketchy dude, and yeah. he's like 110. Yeah. And he's playing an instrument. It's just a Samoan dude playing a ukulele. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's all romantic. It's so, like some fucking banjo. I don't know. <laughs> so, but no, he was like a home. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So as we tur- like curve around, there's this like rock out in the middle of the water. It looks like a screensaver. Yeah. And there's waves crashing on the rock like the little fucking mermaid, like a mermaid just kind of <laughs> land. And she's just standing like that. And there's just waves, yeah. you know. And... I'm like, oh my god, this is gorgeous, right? So we go, we walk out on the rock, and his cousin's gonna take a photo of us, and we're and we're like this, and it's slippery because there's like algae or whatever yeah. on this bucket, mm-hmm. and if we fall, we're probably gonna die. You know what I mean? So it's fine. So we're standing there, and we're arm in arm, and I'm smiling, take the picture, and he starts slipping on the rock. Oh, and, I, and but but this is how selfish I am. Like the whole time, I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Keeping my yeah, smile. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> and 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 I'm go- and then I look, and he's on he's on one knee. Aww. And all I can say, like a fucking lunatic, is, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh what are you? I'm like, and I can't stop. Saying, I'm like, shut up, Jenny. Shut up. Oh. Shut up. What are you doing? Like, I can't. And I'm like, oh my God, stop talking. Right. Yeah, so yeah. I don't remember what he said. It was beautiful. Aww. I have no, to, to this day, I have yeah. no idea. And I didn't realize it at the time, but he told me when he opened up the box, it was upside down. So he quickly <laughs> flipped it. If it had bounced out yeah. and oh, hit the rock and gone, gone into the water. No. <laughs> Would I would have been, been like, banjo guy, come kill this motherfucker. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? So I was I was like, okay. So I'm, I'm crying. And then I'd say to the girl, I'm like, is this why you told me to look nice today? And I didn't. I'm yeah, yeah. fucking hairs in a ponytail, greet, like no makeup because <laughs> yeah. I'm just like one with the beach or whatever the fuck I would have put. Like, yeah. So, and the whole time they were videoing this, oh. not taking a picture. So you have this video? I have a video oh of this. Oh my gosh. Nice. So, so he you asked me to marry him. And then I was like, this is, I'm like, oh my God. I got my whole yeah. viewpoint of like, did it? I was like, yeah, I'll fucking make your babies. You know? Yeah. <laughs> So, and then what I, we want to be engaged for two years. I was like, this is bullshit, but yeah. okay. Because yeah. I guess we're planning it. So if I do half a task a week, I'll be able to take my fucking time and not get stressed out. You know <laughs> Wait, what I mean? engaged for two engaged years. Engaged yeah. for oh, two. Oh, I don't know. I registered married for two no. years before trying to get. No, Damn, that's no. a long yeah, time. That's super weird. To yeah. be just engaged. Yeah. We for went on our first date in 2009 and we got married in 2013. Four wow. years later because oh, we got gosh. engaged at two years and we got married at four. Right. Mm. Okay. And then, so now when he asks me for this third kid, I'm like, fuck you. We should have gotten started yeah, earlier, dude. You yes. What do you yeah. mean? Yeah. What do you mean? Do you understand that when I was pregnant, what it was called? It was called a geriatric pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that offensive as it's fuck? It's super offensive. Now, now it's called yeah. AMA. It's like First advanced of all, maternal age. No, as soon as I had my baby, they fucking changed it. Oh, damn. <laughs> I was like, thank you, cancel culture, for stepping in on that yeah, after yeah, my baby's yeah. out of me now. <laughs> after I've been called geriatric. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking kidding yeah. me, dude? So rude. Yeah. After my doctor's like, well, this is considered a geriatric pregnancy, so like, you, you really need to be careful. Yeah. I'm like, with what? That my vagina doesn't get a gray hair while I'm pushing it? Like, what do you mean? And I can't see it. So who cares? Yeah, that, that is so rude, oh though. I'm glad they changed it. So, okay. so, so that's love, how I kind of changed your mind. I did, and I did, and he was. It was like, okay. At the end of the day, I, what really changed my mind was, you know, when I was dating and stuff, it was like, what are you trying to do in your date? You're trying to find the fucking companion you're going to have, whether you marry them or not. You're trying to yeah. find someone that you enjoy their company enough to be around that you don't no one likes to go to bed at night by themselves and wait like at the end of your life right you're trying to find someone to like really be with and after at a certain point of dating you kind of get like over it you know you're like i'm fucking tired of this shit and like and nowadays i don't know how the fuck people do it because everything's online yeah you know and it's and i have a barrett you know my Mm -hmm. coworker. he's with the thing and swiping and i'm like god my god this is unbelievable and he tells me about these dates and i'm like Dude, I don't fucking envy you. Like you you yeah. want to find someone that you're like, this is my fucking person, dude. Yeah. And for Clark and I, really, it's more like we're not the like, oh, look at them. They're so madly in love. We're like, look at those two. They're fucking hilarious. Like we're best friends. Yeah. You know, and that's and that to me was like, that's worth somebody I want to spend the rest of my life with. It's somebody that I, that's my best friend. You yeah. know what I mean? He knows all my crazy bullshit. He's seen me at my fucking worst. He told me like 
like when I had the baby and the baby was not over nine pounds <laughs> and 23 inches long. That's almost two feet long, guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's like, babe, it was like your vagina was Mary Poppins' bag. The baby was <laughs> never ending. I didn't know when the baby was going to be. Oh. And I'm like, you let him watch it? Want to make out? I'm like, what? So yeah. like, you I, you just feel like, a, you're like, this is like a small house fire now. I don't yeah. like, get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't want... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like this miracle plowed its way through me. Yeah. And now we're like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, she actually, both of her babies were home births. We were talking about that because you know how like, I was, I wanted yeah. to do a birth center birth. Which I was like, no fucking way before I had kids. Am I having a baby at home? Yeah, that's, yeah, so that's me. How did you Absolutely up- not. I was like, people are the people who do that are crazy. I'm like, I need a hospital, <laughs> and it's I need unsafe. doctors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how did you change your mind? I watched a documentary on Netflix called The Business of Being Born. That's the oh, reason no! why. I want I totally did. And, that's literally the reason why also, I didn't want to go to the hospital. A yeah. friend of mine that had, a friend of mine had a home birth and i was like all right tell me about it i think you're a psycho fucking lunatic person and you're yeah. like your babies are alive but tell me about it so she <laughs> yeah, did and i was like okay and idea she yeah that home births are more dangerous but they're actually way like significantly safer than hospital births. well here's what did it for me like my midwives had been doing this for 50 years and mm. had actually delivered more babies vaginally than my obgyn had because okay. obgyns that do more c-sections because yeah. yeah. they're surgeons yeah right mm-hmm. So I was like, that's interesting. And their transfer like, rate to the hospital, like if God forbid something so happens, low. was less than 5%. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I was like, okay. And then I took this, the, the game changer for me was I took a 10-week class like every Sunday. We went for an hour or whatever. And it was like a birthing class. Um, this woman named Kathy Killebrew, she was a fucking phenomenal class. And now she does them online. That gave you so much information about what's going on. Because you're terrified. But you're mm-hmm. then you, you also have to remind yourself at some point, they're not, this is not some like, you know what? We're going to fuck. You're a guinea pig. We're going to see how this goes. Yeah. If you could do this, this is how we'll make humans. Like exactly. this has been going on for a long exactly. fucking time. Right. This is what our bodies We're are built for. Like do this. this is not, you know what I mean? Like this is not some fucking test. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, so that chilled me out. And then like finding out all the things about it. But I was, but also I was like, you know what? It's okay. I'll try it at home. And then the second, if, if I ever did have a third baby, which I won't. In case my husband is <laughs> listening. You're listening. Yeah. The shit is shut down. Yeah. Okay. I'm Fuck wrapping you, it. Clark. Also, I'm incredibly fucking fertile. Like I look at his penis and I'm pregnant. Like it's in. I'm, I'm not. It's <clears throat> insane. Like I might need to borrow some eggs. It's, you can yeah. have them. I will give you a full fucking dozen. Yeah. So <laughs> it is insane. Like so, I'm like, I will wrap your body in saran wrap before you can look me lovingly in the yeah, eyes ever yeah. again. Like I'm not. I'm yeah. not doing this. And it's and it's a lot. So it's like I I feel like the second time that and I, when I had my birth was so different than the first one mm. that I was like if this happened a third time I would consider going to the hospital and like planning and doing a C section. Yeah. Oh really? Like, yeah. Was it to not have good, that experience? It was not good or or you've just had the good experiences and you're like, well, we could just go ahead and it was. It I want to be traumatized. It was yeah. <laughs> no, no. I, and I probably I say that and I probably wouldn't. It was that my, with my daughter. It was like this beautiful kind of like I woke up in the morning and I had like very light period cramps that weren't even that painful and I was like oh I think something's happening today (laughs) today might be the day you know like like you see some bullshit on TV you know what I mean and then as the day went on it got a little bit more intense but it was happening like slowly and my body could handle it you Mm -hmm. know what I mean like it was on a very low like gradient so you didn't have you didn't have any um, shot then right what is no, it called no when you're at home you don't get any of that no No, yeah they don't drug you up when you're (sighs) okay so at, at home for about there was about an hour time period that I was like, this, like that they call it transition, which is like the where, where every woman goes, give me the drugs. I'm in so much yeah. pain, I can't yeah. take it. But if they just hold out a little longer, just you're about to bit. be where you could push. And when yeah. you push, it feels amazing. Yeah. Because you could do something about it. Okay. And you want to push. Your body yeah. wants to push. And your body like is itching pushing. A, like yeah. itching a scratch. There's kinda women kinda like who are in comas relieving. nine months pregnant and the baby comes out. And yeah. the, your, their uterus oh. pushes the baby out that's on its own. Literally, we're meant it takes to a do while this. because the m- woman's not up and helping right. it, but it it that's it's the like literally it's yeah. gonna come out. Reflects. The baby's coming it's out. Come so out. yeah. So with her, it was like okay, it was intense for an hour, and I was like, if I'm not at I, my, I'm thr- sorry, I'm horrified of yeah. childbirth. Are you, are you, should I stop? Are you like, okay? No, 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 it's it fine. Okay? It's just my mouth is watering. I'm just salivating. I know. I'm just like if I see you dry heaving, I might yeah. cut this story it's short. It's okay. <laughs> so, so um, I was like, okay, this is. This is intense. Like, if this is not transition, I don't think I can do this. I'm at my threshold for pain. I told my husband. He goes, what do you need me to do? I'm like, I need you to call everyone we know that has three kids or that has two kids because this is my first and tell them they're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I said, start with, again. start with my mother <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then call this fucking asshole because my best friend lived right, right next door at the time and I was, we were outside walking and I pointed to that house mm-hmm. and then the midwives come in like, we need you to go for a walk. I go, what are you, what? Huh? I'm exhausted. I go, I said, I said, do you guys even have kids? They go, yeah. I go, that's not the fucking point, all right? <laughs> I don't think you know what you're doing. I need to sit down. I was yeah, like, I don't want to walk. But if you keep your body moving, it's better for them. It doesn't yeah. matter. So then uh, next thing you know, I could push. And then they're like, so we need you to push like you're pooping. I was like, oh, I can fucking do that. I poop all the time. <laughs> so um, so I did. 
And then I was like, that's, that's good, right? And they're like, nope, like har- harder. I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. Okay. So then I do that for the next one. And you have to wait for the contraction. So you're just kind of like laying there in between. It's not like TV where they're like, you push, 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 and the baby's out. It's like you push, you wait for the next contraction to come. You push so with, you the push transaction, with the, with the with, contraction. Oh, yeah. Okay. With the well, transaction. did you ever feel your body push for you? Like that uncontrolled? Yeah, yes. Like, and then you're, you, you can push with it. But yeah. like, you, if not, you're just waiting for the next one. But you're not in any pain while you're waiting because there's so much pressure and you're so glad you could finally like do something about it that it's, anyway, it doesn't matter. So the next one, I'm like, okay. Here we go. I'm going to do it. I'm going to harder than I'm pooping, right? Like harder than poop. Good. Got it. <laughs> do it. Still not enough. I'm like, I'm sorry. I, we got to go. We got to go then because I can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> so then I go like, I can't, I actually can't do this. So she takes my hand and shoves it between my legs and I feel Livia's head. Mm. And my eyes fill up with tears because I'm like, oh, oh, she's right there. Like I didn't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. Like it, it brought me up to like a point where I was like, okay, I could do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, We're almost there. So I was like, okay. at the finish line. So then I do it. I push the next time. And they go, that was perfect. Like, if you do that again, and I go, oh, no, 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 that was all I had in me. There was no, again. She's not out. This is how she lives now. Just, yeah, yeah. Just, just halfway out. Get a sippy cup, and yeah, this is yeah. what we're doing. So, so I go, what do, you, what do you mean? I go, first of all, I just, guys, okay, while we wait for the next contraction, I have a little tip for first-time moms when you're at their house and this is happening. And they're like, yeah, I go, um, and I'm whispering because we're trying to keep the, you know, very calm, you know, environment, keep zen, energy, and all this yeah. bullshit, good, good energy. I go, a little tip. Now, keep in mind the whole time Clark's laying next to me and he's just like being supportive and like, and there's like snacks Aww. out for the midwives and he comes and he's like chewing. I go, what the fuck are you eating? <laughs> he goes, he's like, <clears throat> cashews. Oh and I go, <clears throat> get the fuck. Are you good? You need anything? Oh my God. <laughs> Do you need anything? I just want to make sure you're fucking comfortable, babe. <laughs> this fucking guy. Right. Here, what? <laughs> in between contract, you're eating cashews. What? In your ear? Make that sure you get crazy. your fucking protein. I don't want you to get lightheaded, babe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy well, fucking hell. Pushing out his kid. Right? So, and he says so he doesn't really see what's going on because he's here laying down, right? And I so, love that, though, that he's laying next to you. That's mm-hmm. so sweet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was before he started fucking yeah, chewing yeah, in my ear. I'm like, the and I sm- thing, yeah. you know, so you smell cashews. And I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? So, yeah. anyway. So anyway, so I go, just a little tip for first-time moms. Like when you have a first-time mom, this is what I want need you to do. Don't tell them to push like they're pooping. Yeah. Okay? Because I don't know how you guys shit. Yeah. <laughs> but you, what, what communicates better to yeah. a first-time mom is like, so now you're going to push like your whole body's going to go inside out. Okay. That's what I just did. <laughs> and I can't do that a second time. Yeah. I was also used to be a smoker. Like I'm like, yeah. I don't have that lung capacity yeah. to do that. You know yeah. what I mean? So whatever. Next contraction, she was out. Also, they're like, you need to bear down. You know how they always tell you, like, they bear down, like, yeah. like your chin to your chin. But I wasn't doing that. I was like, mm. and so I was my eyes too. were swollen shut after, like, I had put so much pressure in oh. my face. Oh. Did you get those little, like, cherry things? Uh, like, no, I like didn't. But I just looked. I looked. Yeah. I have a picture. It is so fucked up how how I, oh, God. I just look like a swollen hot mess. Like, I look like oh, a Michelin man, man holding yeah. a little baby. So, <laughs> so then they weigh, they, then they weigh her. And she's nine fucking pounds. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, fucking wow. felt like it. Wow. You know? <laughs> and um, is Clark a ginormous tall man? He's 5'11", but he has a couple of six-foot-tall men in his family, I think is why. And I'm 5'5". I'm not, you know, I'm not, like, abnormally tall or short. It's just pretty normal. So they... um, They they take her and they weigh her and they do all this stuff and they put her on my chest. And, you know, so midwives don't believe in... Well, my midwives don't believe in cutting you, like, giving you an episiotomy. They don't believe in that. They're like, if we do that and you tear, it's going to be worse because they've already started the tear, which makes sense. Yeah. If you cut a piece of paper and you stretch the paper... It's gonna, it's gonna tear. Yeah, it's gonna tear. Mm-hmm. If you go like this and trust the paper, it might tear, but it might not. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I, they didn't do that to me, and I tore a little bit on my own. And they novocaine you down there. You don't even feel it. And I'm holding my baby the whole time, and she's just sewing me up. And then she gives me my checkup six weeks later, and she looks down there. And she's like, "Oh man, this is beautiful work." She goes, "Looks better than what it did before when you started." I'm like, "What the fuck is that supposed <laughs> what? to be?" What? Oh jeez. Can you imagine the, oh shit, my the God. shit people say? It yeah. looks so better than when <laughs> before it was ripped. Yeah. Well, you just made like, me realize they didn't know me up. Before I got pregnant. <laughs> Fucker. She goes, it looks better than it did when you first got pregnant. I was That's like, funny. oh, okay. What does that this even mean? This is the theme of this episode. The shit people say. Yeah. The shit people yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. So then um, when I had Luca, Clark wasn't laying down next to me. He was standing up here. So he got to see. Still eating cashews. Whatever the fuck he got to <laughs> see. He yeah. still got a handful no, of I, cashews. No, I made a joke. I was like, there's no fucking snacks yeah, yeah. in the <laughs> If you need to eat, you better fucking do it. Why but did with you let Luca, him watch it? I, I wasn't even, what happened with Luca was, was I was like disoriented. Yeah. Like, I'm going to tell you what happened. So, he was five days late. My daughter was 11 days early. So I didn't know what was going on. And I went into labor, but it was false labor where nothing was happening. Basically, yeah. like you're not dilating. You're not, pre- the baby's not dropping. So they just left and labor stopped and fine. With Luca. With Luca. 
with so with Luca five days late I get up to go to the bathroom Clark and Liv are sitting on the couch watching a movie I go pee I go to wash my hands I come back from washing my hands and there's water running down my leg now my water didn't break with Livia until I was about to push so mm. I didn't even really know about it mm. there's water running down and I'm like I can't still be peeing right <laughs> <laughs> because I mean things haven't gotten that bad like I'm big and my stomach's out to here but I'm not no and then I sit down on the toilet and I wipe and, I, and I'm just like it's clear I'm like it's not pee like yeah. it's not like it just was different it was yeah, like almost like yeah. slippery a little bit yeah. like, I'm like something So I'm like, this is, so I stand up again and more again and I'm looking at the floor and I'm like, Clark? And he's Mm -hmm. like, I go, I think this is my water breaking. Yeah. So he he goes, I'm going to call them. I said, first of all, just calm the fuck down. (laughs) Don't come in at a fucking 10. Come in fucking hot with this kind of energy, dude. Go get a cashew and call the fucking (laughs) guys. Sorry, buddy. So, so. He goes and, and he's like, shut up, babe. And he comes to the bathroom and he goes to wipe it up. I said, don't wipe up the, the, yeah, the fluid. Yeah. He goes, why? I go, because I know my fucking midwife and she's a lunatic and she's going to want me to taste it. What? Oh, my God. Oh, So, so, so oh, I go. So he calls her some speaker. I'm looking. Just stay with me. So this will be the last time I'm ever on the show, people. So, <laughs> so it's on the floor. So, and I'm sitting on the toilet and, and, uh, I go, so I think my water just broke. She goes, okay, is it on the floor? I go, yeah, I, I need you to taste it. No! So I'm like, oh, what? what the f- and I taste it. Oh. And I said, it tastes like the ocean, like salt water. Ew. What? She goes, that, because oh, so- you know why? Why? She's, oh, jeez. The amount of times they get false oh. reports that your water broke and it was urine. Oh, gross. And she and makes you come, taste it? And they come. What does pee taste and it's like? like? I mean, I don't know, but no, but it's not salty. And that's the thing. I mean, like, fluid is salty. I didn't know that. No, I didn't either. Okay, now I do. I so, can't fucking wow. go to the ocean anymore. If so, I take that shit, so, I'm going to fucking vomit. Oh, oh, it's just God. Mother Nature's amniotic oh fluid. God. So the whole ocean is the whole fucking fluid. Your eyelashes are gonna come off. My eyelashes are already fucking so she, coming off. She's I'm, serious. I'm actually getting. I'm sweating also. Yeah, yeah. I'm just reliving it. So, so um, I'm mind blown. I did not know that. So yeah. So I did. So I said, she goes, "Well, your water broke. You're having this baby today. Now it's 5:30 p.m." Mm. My contractions haven't started yet, but I'm worried because when your contractions start and you have all your water, they're not so bad. But when you have dry labor, meaning some of the water's oh, gone, it's le- that cushion's gone. It hurts. So I'm scared now. I'm okay. scared. I'm waiting for it to come, right? Mm. Wait, did you have a gush or was it like trickling out for oh, no, hours? No, no, no. It was, it was quite a puddle, but it wasn't like I still had enough fluid in me, but it wasn't all of it. It wasn't like a gush. Okay. But it was like running down, like almost like I was peeing. Yeah. Mm. So. Because mine wouldn't stop trickling. Yeah, just trickling and trickling and trickling. This wasn't really like a trickle. This was more of like a, a, a good stream, a stream of pee and then it yeah. stopped. I see. And I was like, okay. And then I went outside in case it kept coming. I was just like, let me stand in the backyard, whatever. And I'm going to sway and do whatever I'm going to fucking do. Waiting. And then at That's 630, an hour later, I got my first contraction. And I was like, Clark, this is starting at a 10. Yeah. <gasps> like this is intense. And I don't know what's going on. And all I know is that it's going to get worse from here, right? Because that's what happened last time. And I can't do that. Yeah. Oh. Like, I, this isn't, this is violent. And I don't know what's going on. And I had a feeling that the reason why he wasn't dropping was because he was stuck on his cord. So I went and got an ultrasound. And the guy's like, when they're that big, you can't, you can't see the cord. So the oh. cord stuff happens like retrospect. Like, they have to see after the baby. I'm like, cool. Do you think maybe your contraction came out of 10 because you already started with fear? No, I think it came out of 10 because. I was already dilated three centimeters from two weeks ago. Mm, so you had so my body was ready. False, and I kept opening, saying, they kept saying he wasn't dropping. I'm like, I think he's stuck on his cord, mm. right? So I get the contraction. And the reason why now I can answer that confidently is because I did have that thought. And I was like, all right, I'm like, let me keep this as chill as possible, right? I'm a very like, I'm a very spiritual person. I'm a very positive person. Like, let me just calm down. Like, let me not do that, right? I don't mm-hmm. want to do that. But um, 6.30, two hours later, I was holding him. Wow, oh. fast. With my daughter, it was an all day thing. It took yeah. me an hour to push her out. I pushed him out in 20 minutes. And when he came out and Clark like was standing here, bang. he said, Janine, and they, they, none of them told me this while this was happening, because of course they didn't want to create any like upset or worry. After everything was done, my husband goes, babe, when he came out, his head came out and his cord was around his neck and the midwife went to take it off, but she had no slack. So at one point she goes, so the next push, you're just going to keep pushing and don't stop. And I was like, okay, something's wrong, but I'm going to just keep, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it. Just, yeah. I have a job to do. I'm going to get it. You're fine. Yeah. So the next one came and I did. I felt him slide out of me. He goes, when he came out, she was just unraveling him. It was around his neck, his arms, his belly. Oh, so I was wow. right. He was like suspended yeah. up there and he couldn't drop. Oh, Dang. So that's why all this false labor, like all aerial this bullshit. Yeah. So when I was ready to push, even she did, she checked me and she goes, yeah, you you can start pushing, but you're gonna have to push him down the birth canal because he's still not dropping. And I was like, mm. "Fuck, man!" 
So thank God everything was fine, right? Because yeah. I had a home birth. <laughs> and yeah. these guys are pros. And they have oxygen. With, like they, knew, they didn't even need to put them on oxygen. But they have all this stuff. It's not like they come like little mamushkas with these like yeah, scarves yeah. around their neck. <laughs> and it's 1902. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they, still they have, have some like, equipment. so much fucking equipment. Yeah. They have, they have, as soon no. as they get there, they're in the room setting up for like an hour. It's yeah. insane. So it was, it was, I'm so grateful he's okay. But yeah, Clark saw what he saw. And I was like, I don't Did even. He, was he like blue for some, like was he losing oxygen? No, but um. You know, I have a photo of my daughter on my chest right after she was born, and she's very like pink. And I have the same photo of Luca, and I looked at them just recently, actually, and he was pretty gray in comparison. Mm, crazy. And thank God he's totally it was totally yeah. because when you have a home birth in the state of California, you have I think twenty four to forty eight hours to bring your baby to a pediatrician to mm. get checked out. Mm. So I did that, of course. Or else was, what? I don't know, or else anything. I think people don't. Oh. They say you're neglectful. You, you oh. need to because you need you when you have a home birth, you have to get their social security card and their birth certificate on, on your, your own. own. And they're hearing the hospital test. doesn't do oh. it for you. everything. So you need the note from the pediatrician saying that the baby was born here mm -hmm. because some, sometimes people come from like you know other oh, countries and they're yeah. like, I had my baby here and I need and they're like, yeah. no, we need a doctor's note saying that that baby was born in the, oh, state, yeah. in the states. Yeah. So um, so I I went and whatever and then um. And he was, everything was perfect. He was perfect. But I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, that's crazy. So that's why, I, and then, and I did hear Clark say on the phone to a friend, like, you know, I don't know that I can ask Janine to do this a third time. Like after seeing, yeah. you know, mm. seeing this again, like that she, she, she had a really intense go of it. Like it was, it was pretty, like he's like, they, and, and the whole thing was like, I was in, tra I started off in transition basically, right? Oh, yeah. And I had no rest in between. Like I didn't have a minute to gather myself before then. It was just one. And I was like, this is not. How same. this was the first time yeah. at all. Like, what the yeah. fuck? You know what I mean? Like, so, and they say that the second kid you have comes quicker than the first. Yeah. So I thought, all right, well, if I count from those fluttery, weird cramps till that I was holding her, that was like a 12 hour day. Cool. It was only intense for like an hour, but it yeah. was about a 12. So, okay, six hours. That's great. So that's like half, but I love that. This was three hours. Like, yeah. I'm like, what? Wow. Yeah. And really, too, because my water broke, but then nothing happened for an hour. Yeah. Right. Oof. So I was like, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm, uh, I've, <laughs> you okay, Dina? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my nightmare. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Me and her. Me and her, <laughs> congratulations me and her like, can we do this? I don't know. Oh, so we can do this. Everyone's experience is different. I hear the I baby. Haven't, the I haven't really rep. heard any great ones, though. But no. that's the. Yeah. That's the I mean, my starting was, point was actually yeah, great. Which it was okay. actually yeah. great. Um, and I remember people being like, you know, oh my God, was it so? And I was like, actually, it was really beautiful. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, you guys are I, all fucking liars. For, for, all liars. They're in a, for, they're in a cold. No, my, <laughs> my son, it wasn't. It wasn't a beautiful experience. Yeah. But my daughter, it was like, and oddly enough, like he's so fucking happy all the time. Even the pediatrician was like, "Is he always just happy?" I'm really, like, yeah. your Luca too? Yeah, yeah. my Luca is always so smiling. happy. And, and 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 that's the thing. It was like even because her name you, know, you wake up in the middle of the night and you go in the room and he and. I go in and I look at him and he smiles up at me like, oh, good, yeah. you heard me. Like, I, it's like a weird, yeah. like, these kids, like, and you know that it's temporary and you're fucking yeah. tired, but you're, it's temporary. And <laughs> yeah. this, like, I made a fucking person, dude. Yeah. yeah. You know how fucking awesome this is? Like, this yeah. is, so it, it is absolutely worth it and it's all temporary and whatever, but it's like, when you're in it, it's, it's fucking called labor for a reason. It's fucking work, dude. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's, you have to work, you know, it, you do and it, and it, you get through it and it's fine and, you know, and there's people who don't want to do that and they schedule C-sections and they're holding their baby and great. You know what I mean? Those, mm -hmm. those babies are still healthy babies and wonderful. You know what I mean? And, um, but for me, I, I, I said, I did say that to him. I was like, if, cause if I got pregnant again, what does that mean? An hour? I'm like, <laughs> like, I can't, what? You just pop that Even shit right faster out. and faster. Because somebody was like, don't, don't you think that was easier? And I was like, absolutely not. No, I don't know. People will say that. Like, oh, your second one, it's easier because they come out faster. Yeah, it's they more condensed. And I'm like, too. no, I prefer it not to be condensed, yeah. actually. I was, was okay so with intense. just having the day that this is the day I'm going to have my kid. Yeah. And this is going to be our special day. We're going to meet each other. I've been yeah. growing this goddamn baby for nine months. You know what I mean? I look <laughs> like a house. Was it worth it? Let's meet. I'll fucking like, let yeah, you know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'll let you know. And then, and then it no, that's thought. so true. Well, it's so great to hear from you. <laughs> it's so great to have you here and hear your so stories. Much. No, no we love you're you so for fun. It. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. No, seriously. No, and Jay's going to be here for another two more episodes. We have her three total. So yeah. you guys can so look forward know. to her in the upcoming weeks. And once again, check out her Instagram and her TikTok at Jokes by Jay. And make sure to check out our sponsors in the descriptions. We love you. See, See you next, next time. week. Thank you, guys. Bye. I'm going to go vlog it.